thank you for picking up the sticks. This is episode 53, Sticks Gaming Podcast. I'm Mike Carnett. To my right, Mike Steak Carnett. What's going on? To my left, Art, the world is flat, Rosian. So what, like, Please don't associate what is the with best, those like, oh yeah, What's the best piece of evidence that you have to support your flat earther movement? I don't even respond to this because those people are mentally damaged. Have you ever actually, have you actually read any of that before? Essentially... What do you believe is like nothing. No, ever... all, all I know is that the stupidest people are the ones who come out and are labeled with that title. It's, essentially, they think like nothing has ever left the Earth's atmosphere, and anything that suggests so is a conspiracy. So it's all like just lies and hearsay and nonsense. So what? So no moon landing. It's like an extension of the moon um, landing. The moon conspiracy. landing was a hoax. Well, get out of here. We're, gonna have to, we're changing subjects here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the science podcast. <laughs> what? What I these... am your host. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> what do these people think happens when you reach the end of the Earth if it's flat? If it's flat, there is a definitive end. I didn't read that much into it. I don't know. It was just a joke. I made There's your homework for the next time. It was time. a joke I made a minute ago. Oh, yeah. You made the jokes. Now research it. <laughs> so, all right, well, we're back in the second studio, I think, technically. Third. Yeah. Well, kind of third, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if you I go through it. Who? I don't know. Knows. But we're back it's now. finally nice outside. Yeah, right. Nice-ish. Nice, -ish. nice, <laughs> nice <laughs> enough to be out, mostly outside. It's it's above twenty, so we're good. <laughs> That's outside podcasting weather. So we got a lot going on today. We Wait, got... before you get started, what? do you know what today is? I do know what today is. What's today? Rusev Day. Rusev Day. Maybe a... I don't know. I can, I can <laughs> neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> It's the, uh, it's the anniversary of our first recording. Of our first release. First release. Yes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I thought as I was driving over, I'm, I'm like, today, tomorrow's the 13th. I'm like, fuck, today's the 12th. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I figured it out because when I was going on Twitter earlier today, we got like balloons that popped up. So I yeah. think we like started that, boop, that boop, boop. we started that Twitter account about the same time or reinitiated or put that as our birth date. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. So, I was like, cause I, de I definitely awesome. had that Twitter account before we started. Even had our first right. meeting about this. Thank you for joining the uh, butt no boxing movement as well over a couple days. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tweeted at Sega. Yeah, hey G man, give me give me another ready to rumble. For the record, darts but no boxing. I just pick a release every week. Okay, pigeon dating sim but no boxing. <laughs> <laughs> for whoever didn't see that on Twitter, <laughs> Mike posted a rant about how there's no boxing games at all available for PS4. None. Like Which then can... turned into a hashtag of us and some other people just like throwing random like game genres or types out there with the hashtag but no boxing. And there's like <laughs> someone throwing like lacrosse, um what was some other shit that people fishing, throw badminton, badminton. badminton. Not, bad, not badminton, backgammon. Backgammon. Backgammon fishing. Horse racing. Horse racing. A shit ton of farming. Oh, yeah. farming, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> there's there's a couple every year that come out for farming. So for the record you you, you beat the fishing one, mm -hmm. and I said, "What the hell is urban fishing?" Because one of them was like Euro, Euro fishing, urban edition. I'm like, "What the fuck is urban fishing?" Like, are you throwing it down a sewer grade, or and Stake had said they thought that was on uh, Xbox Game Pass. It's not Euro fishing is, but not the urban edition. Mm. Oh, you gotta pay extra for that. that okay, uh, urban. I said maybe. I, say, I maybe knew something Euro something. fishing. That sounded familiar. For the so, record, I okay. did I did download Ur Euro fishing. I didn't play it yet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Next time. That's called, that's called a tease, ladies and gentlemen. Right, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe next time. <laughs> oh my god, steak. What you playing? Um, a couple oddballs. Okay. Uh, so I'm taking a break from all the normal stuff. I started playing Breath of Fire on the Game Boy Advance. Whoa. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I had a thousand guesses, <laughs> I would not have come up with Breath of Fire. I'd say I'm probably about four, four and a half hours in. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's the furthest I've ever gotten in Breath of Fire. So I was going to ask if you've played that one I've always, like, not. tried to start it, and I've just never really, like... I mean, it wasn't, like, necessarily a bad thing. It just never... I don't know. I just never kept playing it. I got you. So I'm finally like, let's so say, yeah, like three, four hours. And I'm definitely way, I never got like additional. Ooh, that, that was me. That, that was me. me. I, I just went, I uh, have to start, so <laughs> if my phone's buzzing, I do Sorry. have to start. That means that it's my was, wife and I got to go. That <laughs> was me. Um, and that's five bucks. Damn. <laughs> Put in the show pod. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I need three predictions later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so. Do we had a swear jar? Oh, God. I'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But just think what we could do with that money. Jesus. Buy a new microphone so don't hover. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of. Yeah. Okay. I think we're okay. Everyone's silent. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. 
We sound check. We sound check and tested real yeah. thoroughly before this As one. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we probably should sound check a little bit more, That's considering fine. we were back in the garage. Oh, well. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so about four. I'd say about four hours of back uh, into Breath of Fire. Um, really enjoying it. Very cool. Um, and then another game I started playing. So since I finished Final Fantasy X 2 on my Vita, I deleted it off my Vita, and that freed up almost four gigs of space on my memory card. Which you know, those tiny memory cards—that's a lot of fucking space. That's like fifty dollars worth of memory space. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, let me uh, let me go through my downloaded or purchase list, and let me see what I have I have yet played. And I totally forgot I bought this a long time ago because I was always very curious because these games come out like I feel like every year. I think they do come out every year. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's the uh, I'm going to butcher this, so I apologize for those that listen and know this. Altier Rorona plus the Alchemist of Arland for the Vita. Of Arland, Texas? (laughs) I sell propane. I make propane. Um, So basically what this game is, it's kind of like a a true Japanese style. Basically, like kind of like anime style. Um, you're playing as Rorona, who takes over as the uh, own of the master alchemist, and so you have to create. So, um, so basically, you know, if those of you who don't know what an alchemist is, you combine items to make different items. Drug right. dealer. <laughs> um, so basically, the there's an evil person in town trying to shut down their workshop. But they can't just shut it down. So what they do is they give you a task and give you three months to complete it. Mm-hmm. And you have three, and it's it's time. So each time you do stuff, days tick off and things like, every time you create items, days tick off. Um, so basically you have to complete the, you have to complete the objective within the time frame, And then there's all these other objectives you can do to earn bonus like items and stuff like that. But the, so you, so you go to other worlds to, so you can buy items, but that gets expensive. Mm-hmm. So you can go out to the world and gather items in the world. Um, and then you also can defeat enemies, which is in like a basic turn-based RPG, basically. Um, and you gain items that way as well. Um, I'm about halfway through it now. So I'm about 10 and a half hours in. I've completed... Yeah, I'm in year two. Uh, year two, and I finished the first, first or second assignment in that. So I'm getting a little bored mm. it's very it's the same thing like even though like the objective changes it's the same thing create a whole bunch of these and while you're at it create a whole bunch of this to get some bonus stuff and get like a free weapon get some bonus stats and all this and get a new get a new cookbook to learn new recipes and stuff and it's just like at first i was like okay this is kind of neat like i'm like this is kind of a little different and now i've hit a point where i'm just like it's the same fucking thing. You like, like do so much alchemy. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> and it's just I'm getting I'm getting tired of trying to constantly collecting these items and also too like now it's getting to the point where it's like okay, you need to have better quality items so you have to find you have to, so there each item has an, a grade from A through E. Okay. And obviously the more of the same like higher grades you use the the finished product is a higher grade. Well, it's either super expensive or cr- extremely rare to get a B plus item. So it's getting to the point too where I'm just like I don't. I don't want to just keep grinding and uh, like so. We'll see if I go back and finish it. But I don't. I mean, it's cool. It's interesting. And like I said, it was one of those games where these type of games come out all the time. They always. They're always Altier than the Sophia or Sophia the, the or first stuff. Part sounded familiar. Yeah. So there's there's been quite a few of them. They just the most recent one was actually just released on the Switch. And I've heard they've changed it up a little bit, but it's still, you know, the same concept for the most part. So yeah. I don't know. I just we'll see. All right. And then a little bit of my gift that I'll. Talk later. Oh, what I didn't hear on that list was Nino Kuni too. Are you? Did you hit the eject on that? I. One? Sounds like yes. I am very tempted to. That, that sounds like a frustrated. Uh... <laughs> it, it, it sounds like you're not having fun playing the game. I, I'm struggling. Partly that, and I'm struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling between trading that in right now mm. with the things with both items games that are coming out next week. Yeah. Because then I can pay for completely pay off one and basically pay off half of the other one. That's expensive. Mm-hmm. So that's oh, why I'm. Right. Okay. So that's why I'm, I'm really trying thinking, to think what the other game was that comes out. Yeah, because I mean, we'll talk about it later. Well, I already really mentioned Yakuza. So Yakuza is the one game where I can get that down to like that's half the, other the price. Game that's coming out next yes, because <laughs> <week. laughs> so, that's like ninety bucks for that edition right. with the, with the glasses and everything. But it's, you, it, you get that on order, right? It's like, a collector. It, it, yeah, it's a collector's edition. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, but um, but. GameStop has a deal going on for the other game that's come out that we'll talk about in a little bit that you get an extra 40%, you can get up to an extra 40% in trades. Oh. So, but, and what I'll do is what I always do. Oh yes, I would like to reserve that, but here's all this. So give me all that extra credit and then put the rest towards that. Nice. So I'm, and I'm thinking about adding, cause you know, Goonie's still offering the 2750, which is like their max now mm-hmm. for, if you're not like the elite pro, 
fuck that. I ain't paying thirty dollars a year for that. Um, I'm just their basic. I don't know. What Elite, I don't know what Elite Pro is, but I gladly pay thirty bucks Whatever. or whatever for the Best Buy. Uh, oh, for the Best Buy one, absolutely not for this one though. This one's not worth it. It's just an extra ten percent in trades. That's oh, all okay. your. But there's no benefit off new games like how the Best Buy one is. I am only because I was no level of pro before, and then when I was trading in a bunch of stuff all at once, it was. Oh, it sure, gave me for itself, three right? more dollars. Oh, okay. to do that way. Yeah. So I yeah. Know what the hell? Why not? Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm in that dilemma right now. Cause like I, cause the more, every time I think about going back to it, I'm like, Oh, I'm in that farming ish. I'm in that resource area. It's like, I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm still up in the air about it, but I, I, I think that might be done for me. Gotcha. Was it, was that a 60 dollar game or 40? Yeah, that was a 60. 60. Yeah. That's all I got. Yep. Arts. What you playing? Nothing new. More, uh, more MLB the show. And, uh, more uh, Far Cry 5, which I have not played nearly as much of that as I would like. Mm-hmm. I regret committing to play that game co-op. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have two separate save files, man. Just go with it. Well, it's. It, I mean, it, it could be. I, I technically could do that because it's whoever is hosting the session. So if I join, whoever joins the other person's game. So if I join his game. It's off his save. Oh, okay. Which the last so you time- could just keep going, and then when you play with him, he just makes sure you, you he invites you into his game. Yeah. Which I mean, I, yeah, I could do that, but in the same vein, like I said, you know, let's play this game co-op. So I don't want to like go through all the story stuff because sure. when you do hit the part where like they give you a bunch of story, it is like, oh wow, that's kind of fucked up, yeah, or that's yeah, really that's, interesting, sure. or man, that was twisted, kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, I've been playing a lot more baseball than I planned on playing. <laughs> um. I am very ashamed to admit that I did actually buy stubs to buy cards in that game. Oh, man. With real, like, American dollars? Yes and no. I had... His offshore account. I had money Bitcoin. left <laughs> in, my, uh, in my PlayStation account. Okay. So I didn't actually, like, put money into PlayStation to buy stubs. It was like, it was sitting there, and I was like, oh, fuck there's it. nothing I'm going to buy right now. And I'd, I'd really like to get some more players for my team. So here. Um, yeah, give me more players for my team. Okay. I mean, it's... Anyone good? Um, yeah, I've gotten a couple of really good ones. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, Carlos Correa, and uh, one of the, like, legendary, not legendary ones, but, like, past season ones was really good that I got. Um, so it paid off. I mean, from what I've read, like, the fact that I got those three cards, like, I had luck out of my ass to pull those three cards. Um, it's very much like getting a pack of baseball cards. You will get packs where you just get complete shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, and said, then, like, like I said before, without the piece of gum. So you don't even have that to redeem it. <laughs> but it's, it, it, it's like I mentioned before last time how there's like there's like the meta game of like you know buying and like basically playing like a stock market. Yeah. And they announced that like yesterday like hey here's all our stuff we're planning for the next month and they do uh, monthly events. And the next one is like you can only use left-handed players. Huh. So like there's a card I have that's for a left-handed closer that is just skyrocketing in price. Interesting. So like I I, I like playing mm. with the guy. I I like the card, but. If I could sell that for nine thousand stubs, sure, I will. I will do that. How much is a pack? A uh, pack is a thousand, and okay. you get two collectible items, which are like helmets or jerseys or bobbleheads that you can, you, you you trade in in the game for other stuff. Um, and then you like you get six players. Nice. So I yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I like playing with that guy, that one guy whose price is skyrocketing, but it's going for way more than it should be worth in that uh, ecosystem. So I'm probably gonna sell that. Sell high, man. Yeah, gotta sell high. I know. Stock I know. Some, stock some bonds, motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta do it. All I got? Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, okay, well, I played a game of Madden. A game. <laughs> uh, I think I saw you online playing that. I was playing baseball. <laughs> yeah, you were. That's, that's, I remember that. Yeah, I fin- hey, I fin- have you seen me online recently? It's about <laughs> baseball. That's all I play. I finished my season for the third straight Super Bowl. I had four first round picks. That's it? That's it. I know. But, like, at this point, I don't know. I'm, Just I'm, trading your number 32 pick every year for <laughs> some shitty team who will give for you like a, a, a top tra- 10 pick next year. Yeah, I'm trading, like, my, like, 32 for, like, two twos and a three and then just flipping that with a player I don't need anymore into, like, a first and another third. I'm familiar with the trade game in Madden. Yeah, but now, like, all... <laughs> Been doing it for years. Yeah, all my offensive line are all, like, 94 or higher. Nice. And four of them are all up for contracts this year. So oh. I am fucked. Trade salary cap-wise. So I'm probably going to trade them. Yeah. For more first round picks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how the game works. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's worked for decades. It sounds perfect. I drafted my first pick. 
I think it was like the ninth pick. My first first round pick was like the ninth pick overall. And I picked a defensive tackle, and he was just, he's like a, he's. I have JJ Watt on my team, and he dwarfs JJ Watt. <laughs> he is just a yeah. massive human. So being. you drafted Andre the Giant. He's a fucking monster. Does he have an afro? He doesn't. Is he, he doesn't like. He, he is looks, he French? He t- <laughs> <laughs> is he potentially back from the dead? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Listen, he's, he's if the zombies ever come, if anyone sees zombie Andre the Giant, just get the fuck out of town. <laughs> You need more than a shotgun for that, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, did, I played. So I played like a game of Madden. I played about a half hour of Pick Ross, <laughs> which is still good. And that's all. I've had something to do almost every single day since we've recorded last. So. Oh, well, mine's been minimal. Like the like I said, the what I did play is just, yeah. So I've had like a serious like play session. I've yeah. had lots of free time. and I've just played baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so that's literally it. I'm you know I guess I'm stocking up time for next week. When I plan on playing. Oh yeah. Oh, game. It sounds way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Just yeah, tell, agree. You, you just tell the woman and kids like I am unavailable these three days. <laughs> yes. You will hear things coming from the first floor. Tell you tell tell the other people in the house I got dibs on that TV. <laughs> <laughs> <sleep> somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe. All right. That's literally all though. Like I've done next to nothing gaming wise. I started reading some news and listening to podcast. So that's all I got. Word. Mm. Stick. What's your plan? No. What's coming out in the next couple weeks? Uh, <laughs> You're starting over What's again. going on? Take two. What's happening? No. This time with more, this time with more feelings. Go. Yeah. More energy. More pizzazz. Yeah. Uh, April 19th, Metal Max Xeno. I feel bad for all these games. It's coming out on the PS4 and Vita. Hey. <laughs> See, Vita Man still alive. Vita still life. alive. Vita means life. Huh? April 20th. God of War. Yes, sir. PS4. Getting nothing but 10. Yes. It's uh, day though. Uh, well, G- for the Games, most part. GameSpot gave it a 9. They also, and stay the they also, fuck away from that. They also spoiled the uh, final boss from what I heard. So. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well, we'll get back to that. Oh, no. I have final words. Might have a little rant about All right, that. All right, good. Um, uh, hang on. If you're planning on buying that game, I'm probably going to post something on Facebook about this before then. Just just go radio silence. Stay yeah. off his gaming yeah, sites. Just, yeah, just go just go quiet. If you if you have a video game source that you trust will not spoil shit for you, just go to them. But stay off of video game sites. Uh, Any major I'm tw- ones. Twitter at your own risk. Yeah. Is, I mean, a week and a half almost prior to release, having like the embargo go up is kind of crazy. Now, I don't understand like getting a buzz on like changing like a known. Uh, uh, that's ridiculous. But like that's like I don't, man, it's, it's, a week's ridiculous. It's, it's ballsy. Yeah. It's, like. That should have been like maybe Tuesday next week. I can yeah, see maybe, maybe but, but like, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how many how many more. Like you said, I don't know how look many at more the, people are going to get between like now and Tuesday, as opposed to just doing it on Tuesday. Like, yeah, like how many more people they would have gotten right. as opposed to releasing. Because I mean, a lot a lot of these games now though these these embargoes have been earlier and earlier for some of this stuff. I mean, like like look at the Yakuza one. Yeah, yeah. That review's been out for, for three months. weeks already. Like, <laughs> but they, they had to push that game back though. But they had to push the game back. <sighs> God. To, um, one the, to possibly one of the best games of the decade. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. To, to a game that a lot of people are labeling their game of the year so far. Yeah, like, same I, week. Good, good call. And like honestly, like all the people that I like, again, like the people I like have similar like thoughts about in terms of games. Like they have all been like saying this is like the best game I've played this generation, possibly mm-hmm. in the last decade. So like I am, yeah. I was already pumped for this thing. Now I'm even more pumped for but, this thing. The other thing that's funny, I was uh, listening to a podcast earlier, and they were they were like, you know. It, it, a lot of games, you know, a game it got a ten out, it got a ten out of ten out of a lot of places, and you know that, that's rare. That's like you know the pinnacle for gaming. And I'm thinking like we've had like five games in the last year and a half that have gotten ten out of tens like unanimously. So do you do you have the BAFTA stuff in the news that happened today? No. So BAFTA is a British something, basically like the. The Game Awards has been Britain. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. I feel like something, what the hell is it called? A lot of fish and chips. Uh. Know, what the, know what the Game of the Year was? What? What do you think? What do you think, the, what do you think the BAFTA's Game of the Year was? Something British. No. Euro fishing. Or no, is it? <laughs> Euro fishing oh, in God. Urban Edition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, I, I was, it's going to be Mario. It was What Remains of Edith Finch. Wow. I, like, I, I, I just put up some out there. It's like in a year that had... You know, Mario Odyssey, Zelda, and Breath of the Wild. Like, I really liked Horizon. I really like what in Horizon. I really liked what what remains of the Finch. I liked it a lot. Sure, that's like a, that's a bold move. It was, on, to, it was on a top five list. Yeah, but I said, wow, it, it was. I think number four on mine. Um, but like, man, like I was like, good, good on them. Hey, if they had an opinion and they want to share it, good on them. Yeah, but, like, that's crazy. That's a ballsy move. <laughs> that's a really good game though. Go check it out. What remains of the Finch. Yeah. The best, the best um, walking simulator I've ever played. <laughs> I'm waiting for that to be a free end. 
plus one of these days. Give it time. That's yeah. Probably, that's a, those it's a perfect old, game for it. Oh, I know. Good. Exactly. That's why I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I haven't played it yet. I might as well just wait. Wait for that and Firewatch. Those are two really good ones. Yep. Also coming on Switch soon. Yep. I got all the news. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Art. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also on April 20th, Nintendo Labo variety kit and the robo kit for the Nintendo Switch. N- nobody talking about that right now. You. No. <laughs> that's... It's interesting. I'm going to be busy when it comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's but, not for you. No. It's for kids. It's, it's scales to adults, I've been told. Yeah. I want to see how, it looks neat, how a robot pack yeah. made for a kid is going to scale onto a, 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 a grown ass <laughs> man. A 6'2 fat ass. Yeah. Yeah. See how well it fits on there? <laughs> no, it looks into. I, I canceled my pre order. I was like, eh. I think the most interesting part about it is. I can is get that, cardboard like, from Amazon. I mean. Well, if nothing was coming out, too, maybe right. I still kept, would have kept it. But I already got two big games yeah. next week. <laughs> yeah, and, like, the most interesting thing is, like, they call it the garage, I think it is, where it's yes. just, like, you make up your own stuff. Yeah. Hire, yeah. yeah. That is probably the most interesting part about yeah. that and, like, makes it even, takes it to the next level of, like, STEM toy for, like, the kids. Yep. That being said, it's got a war time. <laughs> yep. There's kids in God of War. Yeah. Wait, there's, there's, there's kid and there's God of War. There's a kid. kid. <laughs> there might be more. We don't know. Yeah, right. Kid Fight Club. Kid <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> uh, then April 24th. I apologize. I'm going to butcher this name. I used to be a huge Adventure Time fan, but it's been so long since I've watched Adventure Time Pirates of the Entry Adine? Retreat Adine? Right Intridian? In- Intridian? Intridian? Yeah, something like that. My apologies. Not I, I have not watched Adventure Time in so long. I know I've heard that word. I just can't I can't remember how to say it. That's coming out for the PS4, Xbox One, PS- PC, and Switch. And also on April 24th, South Park, the fractured butthole for the Nintendo Switch. And do not forget about your PlayStation Plus games for April. For PS4, you can download Mad Max and Trek Mania Turbo. For PlayStation 3, In Space Free Crawl, which is a cross-buy with PS4, and Toy Home. And PlayStation Vita, 99 Vit- Vitas, uh, cross-buy with the PS4 and PS3. And Qbert Rebooted for cross-buy also with the PS4 and PS3. Which, from what I read, is supposed to be like the way Qbert originally was, and they dumbed it down for arcades. Hmm. Pretty much, yeah. Interesting. Well, it's free, so what the hell? Yep. Uh, then your Xbox games with gold for April. This is what day is this going live? So, uh, so for Xbox One, you're currently available is The Witness from April 1st through the 30th. Uh, now Assassin's Creed Syndicate is available from April 16th through May 15th. And then for Xbox 360, uh, Dead Space 2 is available until the 30th. I don't know if it's still going to be by the time this comes up, but they had some of the DLC for Dead Space 2 was free last week, mm-hmm. too. So. Yeah. I, oh yeah! I, damn, I should have jumped on that. Um, and then uh, Xbox did announce some uh, some brand new original Xbox games are coming to backwards cap- uh, compatible for the Xbox One. So uh, original Xbox games that are be releasing on April seventeenth or be ready to go on April seventeenth. Yeah. Uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper finally. Breakdown, Conquer Live and Reloaded. It's about time. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Hunter, The Reckoning, which is actually a pretty good game. Uh, Jade Empire. Mm-hmm. Panzer Dragoon Orta. We need a new one, please, Sega. Um, and SSX3. Uh, and then on April 26th, uh, original Xbox games that will be playable will be Destroy All Humans, Full Spectrum Warrior, Mercenaries, Playground of Destruction, MX Unleashed, Panzer Elite Action, Fields of Glory, Star it's Wars, yeah. Goosebumps. <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront Two, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Two, The Sith Lords, and Star Wars Republic Commando. Doing a thing here. Sorry, my eyes glazed over after I heard Star Wars for the seventeenth time. <laughs> There's actually some very good games in there, though. Yeah, like some like marquee Xbox One titles, also, or Xbox they, uh, original titles. Yes, they released a 4K patch for. Uh, Red Dead, yeah, which is Red Dead Redemption, Red. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Portal 2, Gears of War 2, and Darksiders. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Which, that, I don't know if you guys have seen the Red Dead one. I hear so, it as looks someone, insane. As someone who's not into Red Dead, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. For a, what, like 10-year-old game at this point? Yeah. That, um, while they're making the next one coming out this right. year? Like, how, when do they find time to do a patch? Like, who did this? My guess would be they already had something close to it for PC, and they just converted <clears> it. That makes sense. 
Did Red Dead come out on PC? Maybe. I don't think so. I'm Ron Burgundy. There's no way to shout. There's no. We'll never know. <laughs> extra, extra. It's time for the news. News. Time for the nudes. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <clears throat> All right, so uh, four things here. I'm going to throw a fifth thing in here, too. Uh, Spider-Man. <gasps> PS4. <gasps> exclusive. <gasps> Finally have a release date. <laughs> September 7th. <laughs> 2018. <laughs> I thought that's how they go. Um, yes. Um, there's a variety of information that's come out in the game. I'm not going to mention any of it here because I don't. If people who don't want to know about this stuff, they want to go in blind. I don't want to ruin it for them. The really, uh, okay, I did. I, I did what I usually don't do and like look into things that I don't. You know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy this game. Jim, yeah. you ignorant slut. <laughs> yeah, but so, but a game Game Informer did the cover story. That's where all this stuff came out, and they have a bunch of different videos. The video you want to watch. Is they do a hundred and five, I think, questions. I, on like, yeah, yeah. I, I posted it on our Facebook page yeah. the day it came out. Well, it's like, it's like 105 with it's the like a, creative director. Yeah, yeah, it was whatever it is. 112 so, or something. Some shit. of them are dumb. Some yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, but some like, of them very much should have been left in the cutting room floor. Yeah. Probably should have been like 63 <laughs> questions with uh, Brian Itar. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's honestly, it's. Um, they give you some really good information without telling you too much. Like, they just give you just enough to, like, understand a little bit more, more what's going on without giving away any mm-hmm. no really microtransactions. No microtransactions is a big one. The- I, I love how with the collector's edition, they didn't even unveil the whole statue. Mm-hmm. They just showed the Spider-Man part of the statue. Right. But there's something else that he's standing on top of. They're like, they're like it's not really a spoiler, but it kind of can be. So right. we're just going to wait. <laughs> Good on okay. them. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, do you have uh, Spider Man? You know, he could be he could be standing on a pile of shit, and I'll buy it. Like, it doesn't, he's it doesn't really matter. He's just on flat surface, but there are turds dropping out. That's <laughs> fine. I'll, I I will showcase that right here. <laughs> but man, it looks man, that looks so good. I know. Like they're, they're like watching just watching a couple like just like short videos of him swinging through, and man, there's got to be a few hundred thousand million. Animations going on because like that's the only thing that makes hundred thousand million. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't I don't need to see another freaking thing about this nope. game. It doesn't matter. Uh, they talk about three post-launch DLC drops, which yeah. are going to be like they're they're, they're going to be I think more like focused on like an individual villain and yeah like, yeah. I, 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 I think out. they're terming them like levels. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Or like you know, mini stories or something. But yeah, so many three of those are included with the digital deluxe and collector's editions. Mm. I'm assuming you'll be able to pay cash money for them when they come out. Probably just season pass. It's just the mm-hmm. others include it. Probably yeah, so. and three additional costumes I believe as well. They showed they showed one of them. But there's two more still to be revealed, something which is going to be. Uh, something I saw that I, not to cut you off, but something I saw that I was on there that would like blew my mind was like they have like, the costumes right, and each individual costume has their own individual abilities mm-hmm. too. And if you like this ability with this costume, you can swap them up. Yeah. So like you can kind of like piecemeal like I like the way he looks, but I play better like this. So you can really switch switch it out. And I think that gives you even more incentive to unlock those things, however you do unlock them. So yeah, that's, it's going to be insane. That's going to be uh, September what again? Seventh. Seventh. I need, I need some days off. <laughs> I don't but know what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's what I put on the Facebook post. Start scheduling your days off now. I don't know what For the I'm going to do. I posted on Facebook. Not yes, these, not these yes, two yes. self-proclaimed comics. I was fans. busy. Number one comic. Which I see is for uh, some official opinions later on on some comic books. Uh, my opinions are my own business, okay? <laughs> <laughs> do not reflect the opinions, opinions and issues of the... Oh, no, they absolutely reflect the opinions <laughs> of, the, of the Sticks podcast. Trust me. So, so, so newborns sleep a lot, right? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Because all right, all right, because, all right, all right, because all right. the wife's due the 29th of let, August. Let me tell you how you play. Dragon this. Quest 11 comes out September 4th. Let me tell and you, Spider Man September 7th. I'm fucked. No, 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 you're not. Let me tell you how I play this. You, you take shifts. Okay. And you take the night shift. Okay. The other great part is when the kid's first born, you are fucking useless. That kid does not need you for shit. She's got the milk. <laughs> you are you are not essential to the equation that's going on here. Fair enough. Your job is, you know, make sure she's eating food and get her food, give her a break. Uh I don't know if you guys are pl- if she's planning on nursing or whatever, but wake her up if she needs to nurse or pump in the middle of the night. Like my when my son was first born, my shift was like whatever to like six AM. Okay. And I sat up and the kid was in the basement with me with me some of the times in his little rocker and I'd rock at my foot and I'm playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. Excellent. Pro, pro tip. Yeah. <laughs> no. Appreciate I, it. So there, there's the shock of having a kid at home. 
those first couple months are the easiest fucking time you're going to have for the Excellent. next 18 years. All right, wait, good. Wait till you start walking. Then I'll finish Spider-Man in that first <laughs> month. <laughs> I, I, I played so much video games in those first couple Excellent. weeks. Sounds so good. So much video games. <laughs> All right, moving past that. Yeah. Uh, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy was announced. That'll be releasing on September 21st for $40. Includes Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, and Spyro Year of the Dragon. It'll be released on PS4 and Xbox One. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever played a Spyro game. Yeah. Oh, they're fun. I played it on a demo disc, I'm sure, at some point. Right. My, my, bro- my brother and I were obsessed with yeah. those. Yeah, we loved them. I thought was the coolest part about that announcement was if you got like the Crash Insane Trilogy, if you put like, the Konami code into the menu, it would come up with oh. Spyro, like yep. the, the trailer. I thought that was neat. Yep. It's the same trailer you can watch on YouTube, though. I know, but it's just kind of neat. It's, it's a nice little Easter egg. Give, yeah. him something, give him something. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was there the whole time. They probably pushed it as an update, <laughs> maybe. I'm curious as to what would happen if you would have tried that before. <laughs> There's someone yeah. out there that tries to Konami code on every menu. Yeah. They never give me ever plays. Just in case. You, you really should yeah. probably. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's be honest here. Know. There's going to be a lot of Easter eggs that we don't know about. <laughs> All right. So uh, Steam Spy announced that it's shutting down. Uh, they blame Valve's new privacy settings. Uh, they said that an update to Steam privacy settings will make ga- users' games library private by default. Previously been public for everyone, Steam Spy claims this will kill their ability to get data that their business relies on. My thought on this is, sorry, buddy, you should have figured out how to pivot long ago. Um, I, I will definitely make my stuff private. I don't, I don't want random people. You know, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. It's fucking video games, but I, I don't want data of mine out there that doesn't need to be out there. Yeah, I mean, you got Dream Daddy on that shit. I mean, you don't want to. Uh, he has Dream Daddy. Oh, he has. Shit. Shit. I got Dream Daddy. <laughs> we all got. Well, we also have general jousting. You got. We, all got, we got general jousting. You guys have general jousting. Yeah, yeah, like you yeah. should. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. Uh, I, 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 I've showered with your dad. I've, got, I've, I've also got a shower with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dollar. I had to do it. I'll say, I, I, big picture, I think I'm okay. <laughs> shower with your dad similar is as bad as it gets for me. That's well, if anyone's not, fucked here, it's me. It's, Let's be honest that's here. That's really not bad. <laughs> Between my uh, Vita games and my, <laughs> and my PC games, I don't know if that's fucked. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like this guy is saying, like, oh, he's, you know, his business is ruined, and like, I, I'm sorry for that, but I think user privacy is paramount. Steam doesn't give a shit if yeah, your business right. is going to be sunk by them right. protecting protecting data from their for their users, especially yep. with all the shit that's going on with Facebook right now and the uh, the Zuck testifying in front of uh, the Senate or whatever. Yikes! Um, and the Senate having no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> that was I, funny. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also think he has no idea what he's talking about. Well, I agree. It's, it's one of those things, like, it's just like a circle of, like, ignorance. Oh, yeah. Like, neither one knows what the other side's talking about. <laughs> we're just going in circles. And we just subbed up security in one big thing. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> All right. Uh, a report came out that GTA Five has made more money than any film, book, or game, according to an uh, industry analyst. I'm not uh, surprised at this point. That's just not, I mean, it's insane. The thing that that blew my mind in that article was that they you know adjusted for inflation, like so they you know yeah. gone with the wind would made like actually like three billion current well, U.S. I, dollars. I mean, I think even like when they just do like the film stuff, I think when they adjust for adjust for inflation, those old films still don't crack like the modern top ones. That are a lot of out. them don't. Yeah, it's, I mean, but it's like it's like what was it six billion dollars? I think was the number. Yeah, uh, nine dollars. Nine, Ninety million units sold and six billion in revenue. And I've still never seen that game cheaper than thirty dollars. That was part of the reason why, because it's still yeah, selling. it's you know, insane. It's, it's unbelievable. Because right now, Rock, the PS4 has got a Rockstar sale going yeah. on. It's thirty bucks. Like, and, and it's, it's it's so crazy. Things cost what people are willing to spend. On sure, it. right. So if oh people, sure, you know if if people are buying this, it's still an NPD top ten every goddamn month at full price. It's still, why would they it's, change it? It's in like the top five every yeah. month. <laughs> I want to see the revenue. Of the online stuff I don't every month. That may or may not have been included. That's, in that's that. what I'm looking for here. That's got to include all the online Six purchases. Six billion dollars. Six billion dollars. I'm assuming. Like, it, it has to. I mean, because that's an insane amount. Of, I mean, that's the same amount of copies sold. And, like, I mean, which is, it sold an insane amount of copies. But I can't, they cannot be just the regular game. It how has much, to include all the shark money or whatever they call it. How much, shark cards. Shark how cards. Much money, how much money did Disney spend on Marvel when they bought them? Do you remember that? Oh, uh, four billion, I something think. like that. What yeah. Star- what about Star Wars? Well, that was even more, wasn't it? Uh, to buy a whole Lucas. Marvel might have been three. Star uh, Lucas might have been four. Rockstar could almost buy Star Both Wars and Marvel. 
From one game. From one game. Yeah. That's came out five years ago. Oh, God. Well, we five years ago. Wait, wait till Red Dead Two comes out. We're gonna be in. It's gonna be. It's gonna do. It's gonna I'm do the sh- same thing. I'm not sure it's gonna have the same appeal. I don't know. We'll see. I think people are. I think more people are gonna get this one than probably would have bought a regular Rockstar game. Yeah. If they have been releasing stuff between GTA and and Red Dead coming out this year, like they, mm. they haven't released anything. I mean, right. They've expounded upon the online exponentially, but they haven't done anything really mm-hmm. new in that time. By the way, your phone buzz. That's five know. bucks. God damn it. Um, shit, there was something else, I saw, another news thing that I saw here I wanted to mention. Oh, yeah. So, uh, today, Billy Mitchell was stripped of all his high scores. Oh, yeah. And, I didn't ba- see and why. banned from competitive gaming. So, the, uh, the story is that he, you know, he had, if you've ever seen the documentary King of Kong. Yeah. Which, if you're a gamer and you haven't seen that, what the fuck kind of rock are you living under? It's, yeah, it's really good. It's really good, and I'm pretty sure it, it I don't know if it is anymore, but at one point it was on Netflix. So I think it still is. But anyways, like dating back to that, the uh, so the uh, you know story, like the, the guy breaks the Donkey Kong record and they doubt him, so he flies out to uh, Twin Galaxies in Iowa and uh, right. beats it in front of like all these people who doubt him, like all the you know, and he does it. He you know, he does it again. He gets his you know recreates his high score and like shortly thereafter, Billy Mitchell spent, sent in a videotape saying you know hey here's, here's me beating that score, you know to rec- like, I think he had the high score before that. Mm-hmm, he did, so, but I guess at some point. He uh, for Donkey Kong, he sent in a videotape. You know, here's me, you know, beating a high score. The only person to get over a million, and uh, someone somewhere w- saw it and they noticed that there was some frames off that, you know, didn't match up with the arcade uh, edition. Do you know what it is? He played on an emulator. No, no, we know how like they figured it out. No. So the way the game loads is different on the arcade than an emulator. Like things pop in in a different order. Okay. Like, okay. Like, like, like in the arcade, the ladders and like the 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 uh, the platforms will load first, and then the characters. But because he did the ROM, like they load up in different sequence. Okay. So that's what they, that's how, how they ended up catching him on that. And for Twin Galaxies, for their scorekeeping, all scores must be set on original arcade equipment. Right. You can't use emulators. You can't use, <clears throat> you know, recreated or modified motherboards or anything. So, um, you know, someone provided them with evidence and pointed this out, and I guess they, you know, called him out on it and gave him a chance to, you know, show up and defend himself, and he chose not to. So they said, okay, you're. You know, all your scores are invalid, and you're banned from our record books forever. That's nuts. Which, uh, I mean, it's one of those things that's, like, outside of the realm of, like, really nerdy gaming, you probably don't give a shit about this. But, like, anyone who's seen King of Kong, which I'm sure is quite a decent number of at least gamers, you know, like I said, it was on Netflix for a while, and even before that, I think I saw it on... I saw it on cable TV. It, oh, yeah. It, it, wasn't it, like was, went, it was always on. It wasn't like I went out and, you know, rented the freaking thing or something. Um... That's kind of a big TV deal because I mean Billy Mitchell is always like his name is always for as long as I've paid attention to him been associated with high scores in these like legendary yeah. games, and Donkey Kong is one of like the top tier <laughs> ones because it's such a hard game. Right? Yeah. So uh, I think that's really interesting that that's happened. That's crazy. And it's kind of funny too because the guy's always kind of been a sort of an arrogant prick about the whole yeah. thing. So yeah, I, I wasn't upset when I heard that. It's kind of sweet today. justice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't in upset, but I was like, oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I, I want. I, I, I'm want to find a quote from the other guy. I think it was like Weeby. I think it was yeah. the guy's name. I want to see a quote from him. And I, I, I just want to see his. I want to see how he's reacting now to this. I, I, want, I wonder if he has, he has a record now, like the official one. He probably. Need, I know they were going back and forth. So I, I guess if this trip really, yeah, I would, I, would assume, um, I would assume he would have it we'll now. See. With this ruling, Twin Galaxies. This is a quote from Twin Galaxies. With this ruling, Twin Galaxies can no longer recognize Billy Mitchell as the first million point Donkey Kong record holder. Uh, according to our findings, findings, Steve Wiebe would be the first official million point record holder. And it says uh, Twin Galaxies has contacted the Guinness Book of World Records about stripping Mitchell of the record, too. <laughs> awesome. Um, I don't think there's any quotes from Wiebe directly. In I didn't see anything in the article. Like Wiebe's probably too busy there. celebrating and getting drunk. He's, he's hammered right now. Yeah, he's he's probably, handle yeah, he's handle <laughs> Johnny Walker. Um, yeah. well, I mean, he's, probably, he's probably just like, you know what? We're gonna hold off on a statement until tomorrow. <laughs> we don't want you to say anything that you. Uh, we gotta redact all of this. Yeah, yeah just... about that. Well, <laughs> apparently, whatever the high score is now is not is way above whatever Mitchell or oh, okay. oh Weezy had party in there somewhere. Yeah, there's yeah. King Kong came out like it was a while long ago, long time ago. Yeah, like early two thousands. Yeah, very good. That's all you got. Uh, that's it. That's good stuff. We cool. Start, start with Spider Man. And with the demise, the of, demise uh, of Billy Mitchell. <laughs> so, who wants to talk about the topic? Who actually put it up there? You put it up there, right? 
I don't know. I no, saw. Like, I saw it. No, I saw it there. I was it was like, in the list. It's <laughs> it in the list. It was nothing in the interesting list happened. While we're trying to decide, episodes. since we're in between stuff right now. <laughs> um, so basically, just the whole dilemma of physical games versus digital games. So if you guys remember, there was a lot of talk about this generation that we're in currently in, where was potentially going to go digital. Um, it sounded like Microsoft was really right, really ready to go pure digital, mm-hmm. not physical, any, any physical copies and everything. And then, you know, Sony caught wind of that, caught wind of people not too sure about that. And they decided, hey, no, we're going to have discs and you can, they made that funny Bang. video. Hey, yeah. here you go. Share yeah. it with your friend. You can share it with your friend. And it was, oh, how do you do it? Here you, thank you. <laughs> what was it? Shoe and, uh, Shoe. who the fuck's the other guy? It was, Adam uh, boys. I can picture him. And I'm boys, right? And I'm boys. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, so so that so and then so then Microsoft, you know, went back on a lot of uh, online only and all you know online all the time. All, all that kind of stuff. They went back on all that kind of stuff because they realized that people were not ready for this. Now, here we are, what are we, five years in? Yeah. Yeah, five years into this generation now. How do we how do we feel about this? battle well, between physical copies and digital like are we do you think we're ready to go full digital are you ready to go full digital um or are physical copies always a must i think for me personally it comes down to the retail price of a new game so i would love to never have to put a disc in a drive ever again sure but on day one, when God of War comes out, I'm going to go to Best Buy and use my Gamers Unlocked to get 20% off of it as opposed to buying it digitally for 60 bucks. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, I understand, like, but that really makes, what doesn't make sense to me is to get that game to that store, <laughs> they need to print the disc. Need to, uh, I'm hoping that there's something inside the game, like a manual or so I can sniff it. Like, sure, you, know. <laughs> you get some, some so, advertisement yeah. flyers. <laughs> Maybe a code for some kind of... Yeah. So, you yeah. 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 so I get my new game smell. But, um, that's really good. I want new game smell. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all digital. Digital, digital games should digital never happen. <laughs> Well, that was great, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until you put something on the console that shoots out a new game store. Like, I, I want smeller vision on PlayStation 5. But like, Coming 2020. But, like, yeah, I don't understand. Like, you know, they got to print this stuff up. They got to get them in a box. They got to get them to, in a bigger box, with all the other games. They get them to the distributors. Then they got to get them to the, the retailers. Then they got to pay someone to put it on the shelf. And they got to pay someone else to screen out, ring it out for me, and I'm going to spend 20% less than I would have bought it from the store day one. Sure. So if there was like, again, if the normal price of games, I would even, t- if it was like 50 bucks for, a brand, for God of War and it was digital and I got all the digital content right there and all the, I get the pre-ordered bonuses and all that good stuff. You could preload the game. I could preload the game. Shit. For 10, it was really like, what, like eight more dollars and a 20% <laughs> off, but $10 less than what the normal retail price right. would have been. I'd probably be going 100% digital. It's $2 more than 20% off. I guess 48 right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. What he said. I'm but, the, the math guy, the comic <laughs> book guy, <laughs> the E3 champion. That's right. I got something, I got something for, for you. For Soon that. to be the Smash Brothers champion. No way. The dreamer. the dreamer. I love being the dreamer. I gotta tell you, I got something later for mine. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um. It's your penis, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already know about that. Sorry, folks. Heard all about it. You're gonna miss it. Yeah. I see the other channel. Um, <laughs> sticks after dark. <laughs> but, D- different type of sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, like, it, again, I wouldn't mind paying a little bit more for day one, you no know, digital only type stuff, to be completely honest. Yeah, I'm I'm in the same boat, and that's the argument you always hear with it is, you know, in the same vein. Why can't the prices be the same or closer, or why can't they match retail sales? And you know, the argument you always hear from people who have, you know, industry insider contacts is that uh, PlayStation or Sony and Microsoft rely on you know the Best Buys and the Amazons, and everyone to distribute their hardware, so they can't burn those bridges. They have to maintain those relationships, and as a result, they can't really you know undercut them on prices on games because if they do that then you know best buy will turn around and say you know what we're not gonna sell your hardware for you get the fuck out of here we're not making that much money on it you know go away um but like i'm not asking them to undercut them I'm just 
can you match their deals? Mm-hmm. You know, hey, let, let me buy a play. I'll give you I'll give you the thirty dollars a year I give Best Buy. You sell me PlayStation Plus Plus or whatever, and let me buy the game for you from you for forty eight dollars on launch day. And I would I would gladly do that. In the past, I mean, I still trade in games now, but yeah. I'm not as reliant on that money as I was in the past. You know, I'm an adult. I have a job that pays me okay. I can afford video games. So, yeah, in the past, I would be like, I, you know, I, I, I game, I want to get my fucking trade in. So, in the end, I'm only paying 20 bucks for the game. That's not as big of a deal for me anymore now, but I can see how for some people it still is. There are, right. there are still the people who are in the position that I and we have all been in before. The college kid who, you know, is donating blood, selling blood to uh, buy games. To buy, to buy Madden. <laughs> buy San Andreas. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> All the blood you donated, you spilled on the streets anyway. So. <laughs> um, Did I ever tell this story in the podcast? About uh, how I used to give blood to fucking buy video games? Maybe, I don't know. I just told the story. That is a story. There's a story. I sold blood to buy video games. Um, Good story. So, I mean, until... And I don't understand why they can't at least match on pricing. Mm-hmm. I, I get why they can't undercut. I get the whole the, the distribution aspect of it, and I get why some people would still want to buy physical. You know, also you have the people who live out in rural rural areas or in fucking Australia where they have shit internet and digital's not really an option for them unless they want to download it over the course of like thirty five days. You know, what's funny is like that's the whole like shit internet thing. Yeah, the only place I think in the United States you can still find a blockbuster. Is in Alaska because yep. they have like shit infrastructure, there. and they have the best Twitter feed ever. <laughs> oh yeah, really? it's called the Last Blockbuster. Oh really? It is hilarious because they don't get any more new movies or anything like that. It's but they're still open and it is hilarious. Check that out. How's Family Video still a thing, by the way? Yeah, I don't know. That's, those are around. A, the, yeah, there's yeah. A, I see a lot of those. There's I don't understand how they're still a thing. I also never see cars in the parking lot with yeah. people going in, but which is all, I I miss it. I, I miss I, and I, I used to work at Hollywood Video and I, I miss that job that job was so much fun I, I miss renting games on uh, your family's account at <laughs> <laughs> that's right well his, his family had a video car at this one you know, ah, yes. video store I went to and they had better games than the blockbusters every so I'd ride my bike over there and well, what's the last name Mac? you Kernat <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rental fee. but the thing was like I was renting games on your guys account and I don't think I ever told you guys I was doing that <laughs> I always made sure to get those fucking yeah. things back on time because like, all I need is the wheels to come off on that and, you know your parents going to rent a movie or something yeah $20 in late fees ah I have $20 in late fees <laughs> you guys are starting to yell that for a game not being returned <laughs> you and your brother be like we never played that game what the fuck yeah. <laughs> art <laughs> yeah, Byers was the best because he had like a NH- really... NHL open ice yeah, you know, yeah he, had, he had that they, they had, had a mini arcade section mm-hmm. with like three or four cabinets. They had like the, an ice cream stand. They had movies and games. Little like dumb shit like Pogs. You know, like all, yeah. all, all like, pick, oh, like, Pogs. Like, Crazy Bones. All that kind of stuff. And then like that, you, they would also rent out consoles to you. Yeah. So, like, oh, cool. Yep. I don't oh, the Blockbusters used to do that too. Like, yeah, you'd be able to rent, yep. rent the console for like whatever it is, like 20 bucks a day or something. Yeah. I, I, my buddy went in there and asked him if they, if they had any Nintendo 64s, like the week it was supposed to come out, but early. And he got, he had like three in early. Like, yeah, fine, whatever. To go ahead and rent it. So I was playing Mario 64. I was probably one of the first like 20 people in the United States playing Mario 64. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Anyway, digital games. Yeah, so, I, I mean, <laughs> like I don't, I, I still definitely see a place, you know, in the world for people who are physical games. Um, Especially if digital's not willing to, you know, match them on price, Mm -hmm. which I and I mean, when we talk about digital here, we're talking about Xbox Live, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Store, that kind of stuff. Steam already they throw up sales and they undercut fucking everyone. Oh yeah, right. Because they don't don't have a machine to sell along with it. Right. Well, they don't have a machine to sell, but it's like there are, you know, them and I think also the. It's not like the developers there are like getting all the money. Like Steam takes thirty percent. PlayStation Store takes thirty percent. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure Xbox takes thirty percent. I think that's an industry standard. Yeah. Um, so I mean, you, you talk about like, you know, all these costs, like the materials, the shipping, the shelf space in stores, the people, uh, all these expenses, and I'm like, it's, you know, PlayStation. Everyone's like, oh, we can't undercut. You could. You just, you guys just take less money. Right. Um. And I mean, as long as prices are equal or if they're more digital, I'm going to keep going physical because I can still trade that mm-hmm. in. I can, you know, bring it here and give it to you and go play this game. Right. And all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. Until the digital shops are willing to budge on price, 
or provide more sound reasoning for why they can't match prices. I mean, I would, st- I still prefer physical copies. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am all about the physical. Well, you also a lot about like the collectors. I love stuff like that. Too. Yeah, I mean, I love collecting just in general. I mean, I I really do. I mean, there's. But you know, but then I have my games where I'm just like, okay, I'm done with them. Like, what am I gonna do with it now? I might as well get something for it, you know, right. or you'll know, trade it in or whatever, you know. Um, like for example, you know, I gave you know Cooney two a shot because you know all the good reviews it got and everything. I'm just like, I got to a point. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. So it's yeah. like, all right, good. At least I can get. I, I like I traded something else in for it. So basically, the dollars that came out of my pocket, I'm getting back now for right. that. Like I paid about thirty dollars for it, so I'm gonna get thirty dollars back in credit for it. So it's like, all right, good. It's gonna be like basically yeah. an even trade. I don't feel bad about that. That that helps. And like you know, and like yeah, and that's thing too. I mean, like you said, like yeah, being an adult, sure, I can afford video games and stuff. But it's kind of nice sometimes when I don't have to worry about buying one. Right. Like you know, like, spending my money on buying yeah. one. Like and, and, God of War, that's gonna be free for me when I trade in. Zelda, Kirby, and Nino Kuni, you know, Having so. credit is just nice. Like, yeah, when I, when exactly. I said, when I went in there and, well, I said, I did, I did when I had all those credits from GameStop and I ended up turning them into PlayStation cards and buying all those digital games, you know, so it was like, hmm. for, could have bought be the show cards for those games. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have left over. <laughs> but, um, like, if it's a game that, like, I really, like, I'm near and dear to, like, I like having that physical copy. Like, I, even if it was, like, Fifty dollars for the God Award. I would probably still buy the physical copy because I still like, I still like having it. Sure. You know what I mean? I don't oh know. yeah, absolutely. It just scratches my brain the right way. I don't know. I, don't, I have no other reason or any rational explanation why I like to have, to have those games like and have them. I don't know if I just like to see them on the shelf and like have like you know that, that nostalgic rush that happens or whatever it may be. But um, I do like having the games that I really really like or care about to have the actual physical copy of. But I feel like I buy more games than I ever would just because how cheap some of the digital sales are. Now that's what gets me is the, is the sales, the digital mm-hmm. sales, like especially when PlayStation has like their flash sales and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like some of these prices are just ridiculous. It's like, okay, I can't pass this up. Like it's a game I haven't bought in a while. I, it's a game that came out like a year or so ago, never picked it up. I always, I'm always on my radar, but never picked it up. 10 bucks. Don. Yeah, exactly. I got it. And like and, and that's the thing too. And I will say, like, it is nice. Like when I when I am like in one of those, you know, we all get in those moods where it's like, all right, we start playing a game, we play for five minutes. You know what this isn't I don't want to play this. Right. You know what yeah, this yeah. is now I'm actually not in the mood for this. I want to go play something else. It's nice to not have to get up, <laughs> eject the disc, and put a new yeah, disc uh, in. Yes. It's nice to swap games just like, oh, I'm just gonna try let's try loading up this one now yep. and see how I do do playing this one. Like yeah. that's a nice feeling. Yeah, it so is. I, I enjoy not having to get my fat ass off my couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you guys don't know this yet either, but like another advantage for me, like I don't like for like Amelia's games, I like having them all digital. So they're all just So she's there, not messing with right discs in your drive? I, mean, I don't really care that much about it. Uh, unless she starts a, jamming a disc in the drive and breaks more, it. It's more like leaving it out on the thing. Like uh, she just takes it out and yes. puts it on the counter. It's Blu-ray. You can't scratch it. I don't care. That's, that's still like, that's, <laughs> still, one those, that's one of those things. Still would bother the hell yeah, out of me. Yeah, it does. So oh, like, don't ever come over to my house. Okay. Then. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with your, there was one time. Um, that's your choice. <laughs> we, were, we, were in, we were at the uh, apartment in, in Summit and Adam came over and he switched the disc out and he took it out and put it on something. I was like, you are, are you a fucking barbarian? What the fuck's wrong with you? Put it back in the goddamn case. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Like, oh, dude. <laughs> like, when I, like, games I'm not, I'm, I just don't think I want to play for a while. I'll take it, put back in the case. But if it's like, I'm, I'm in, you know, playing two games, like, switching off simultaneously, like, I just take it out and put it on top of the console. And so, like, right now on top of my console, it, there's Far Cry and I think Rainbow Six and MLB's in the console. Yeah, I, I, remember, I think what really made me all goofy was the, the apartment and summit for many reasons. But for this one, <laughs> it was like, I, I would, you know, I never played original Xbox. Like, I never had one. Yeah. I barely ever touched one, but they had one there. And I would go and pick out a game. Like, I'll try this one out. And the wrong game wrong would be in there. So I'm like, I'm not going to. Oh! Like, oh! <laughs> that told me nuts! <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not going gonna, gonna to hunt this thing down. I quit. I quit. And I'd be at friends' houses and they see them do that. <laughs> Oh, it gets me cringing. <laughs> so, so yeah. even a couple times when they weren't looking, I'd go in and put it in the right case for them. It would drive me insane. Yeah, oh, just, I don't know. I know. I don't know what it is about that. But again, with, with digital, it's all just there. It's all right. Good. I have my folders and my PlayStation thing. I got the extra hard drive. So I have like all the space in the world I could ever need for games. And they're all there. So I never have to worry about like, um, like hard drive space and things like that, which is like sure. a big negative though. So like I had to buy an extra hundred and whatever dollar yeah. Hard drives, so right? I, so I can like do the more of a digital thing and not have to worry about like swapping things back yep. and forth because some of those games are freaking huge. Oh, I know. And the X is ridiculous. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, it, and that's and that's a big thing too. It's like and that's what you too like. 
you got to think about it too. The data caps yep. with with cable companies nowadays, like right. with the internet companies, like you got you know you can only have like you know with Comcast, it's a terabyte, like which sounds like a shit ton of space. But guess what? Unless you're not, if, if you all you're doing is like sh- surfing the web and streaming basic 1080p Netflix, you're fine. You're gonna you're never gonna get near that. Yeah. But if you're downloading games like every every month, if you're streaming 4K, I mean. You're gonna blow through that, and like, and that's a big deal because then you're gonna be paying way more for your internet because yeah, of it's that not a too. More either. Yeah, no, it's a lot. <laughs> for, for the first time, I almost hit my data cap last month. Ha! I was trying to figure out why. I'm like, Fuck what? What did I this. do? <laughs> I, I signed up for Game Pass. That'll do it. Ah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Like I was sitting there for hours. I'm like, I didn't. I didn't buy any big digital PlayStation games. I didn't buy any big digital Xbox games. I'm like, <laughs> I haven't been downloading movies. We <laughs> didn't watch any more Netflix than usual. I'm like, what the fuck changed? And I like fired up the Xbox one day, and I was like, "I'm in Game Pass." I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> right. Oh I, yeah, I downloaded like six I, I, games. I signed up for that, and I downloaded like half the library. Yep. I <laughs> How would you feel about going to a store and buying a collector's edition that had a download code in there and not the actual game? That is what turned me off from buying the original Sonic Mania collector's edition. Oh, the one with like the big Sonic. The big the Sonic Sega. thing that was cool. But then when I found out, no, it's just you're getting a digital code with that. I'm like, so all I'm paying for is the statue. Like, basically, no. Interesting. Like that. Well, you're paying for the game. Paying for the game, too. But, like, I don't know. I want that physical copy. If I'm buying the whole, I want the physical copy. of it. That's why, like, um, I got to double check. But I'm pretty sure that Sonic Mania Plus that's coming out, I think that is a physical it is. version of that game. Yeah. So well, that, so I held off. Well, I'm probably going to pick that up, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I can get that you know, with the actual physical thing but like i i don't know does it feel like I less just, of a set even, some, though, even though you get the same amount of content right i know it drives me nuts though like something about it bothered that's something again like how you're saying like i can't explain that it just yeah, yeah, that yeah. would that bothers me I, on the surface i'm fine with it but i'm not the collector's edition guy i don't yeah i, I, I actively avoid I, them because i don't need more shit cluttering up oh yeah house. no no i used to be like all about every collector's edition I, and all that shit I like big as arkham asylum one with oh, the ring and oh like a huge case yep it was huge yep uh, I can come with my I statue. My, that Batman statue right there is from Arkham City. Oh, yeah. Collector's oh, yeah, edition. Totally is. Uh, but, like, but like, like the Yakuza one. Like, the only reason I'm getting the Yakuza one because it's fucking whiskey glasses. That's right. And whiskey stones. Like, it's I'm going to use you it. You're going to see that on here right. starting the next one. Right. Like, it's, it's something practical that you use. <laughs> exactly. You're, you're not putting it on a shelf. To oh, yeah, exactly. I'm going to use it. And then, like, the Spider Man one. Spider Man's my all time favorite comic character. So, of course, yeah, I'm sure going to. Yeah. <laughs> Not so, according to art, is not. Yeah. So of course I'm going to spend the money on and get the, and get this. I need that statue. Like it's Spider Man. I, I want the fucking statue. Really cool. said, now that I think about it, I'm not sure that I've ever bought a collector's edition that came with something physical like that. Oh my god, I bought so much Assassin's Creed Two. I've got the giant assassin character. Uh, god, what I, else? There's I, I, there's quite I, a few. Oh, there's the uh, Star Wars Old Republic the MMO. Oh yeah, Darth I, Darth. Um, what's his name? I forget his name. Mm-hmm. Magnus, maybe I don't know, but yeah, there was I, that from I that. did the try buying the uh, Borderlands pre sequel one, but they had sold out of the yellow claptrap edition oh, before yeah. I could get it, and they were selling like tuxedo claptrap. I'm like, fuck that shit. I don't was it expensive? <laughs> like super expensive? It was. Yeah, I think it was, like, I think it, was, it, but... it was like 200 bucks, but yeah. you got a fucking remote control yeah, claptrap. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I really did too many of them. I did a lot of like the extra editions where I get like the I get it for like the MLB the show about the right. I, I've done MVP like oh yeah, sure. I've yeah. done like the deluxe edition for, or whatever. NHL, I've done that to get the you know the more pucks so yeah. you can buy more cards right yeah. away and stuff like that. Um, so so last thing on this. So going forward, so no, as we're hearing rumors about PS Five coming out in twenty twenty, supposedly. I, I'll I'll buy that. <laughs> Yeah. You'll buy a PS5? Yeah. I'll buy the rumor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, no, 2020 sounds about right. I'm look, glad to hear it's 2020, not next year. Like, that's actually better. I don't think that's The only way you're going to see it next year is if uh, Xbox announces it. Does something, yeah. Next year. Yeah, which would be stupid. Hopefully, just both keep pushing that back. I mean, if you think Xbox should be releasing later than Sony because they came out with the X after the Pro. Yeah. So if anything, I think that. Although Xbox is going to try to be first to market with the they, they They will be. They will be. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just hoping it's still just. I don't Man, know. I don't know. Like, it seems like the reactionary console tends to have a better result. Yeah. Well, I guess the 360 came out first. Yeah. 360 did, yeah. Yep. Hmm. I don't know. But so so with these rumors of PS5 where everyone's talking now and everything, how, what would be your thoughts if they decide... Like, they already have confirmed it's gonna be there's going to be a desk. They've already confirmed that. But if it was going to be digital only, 
How would you have felt about that? Going now, think about it. Like, think, now think about this. Like, we're seven years from where everyone was complaining about it, right. but we have made quite we have made quite a bit of advancements with the internet and everything in seven years. Like, how would you feel if that was if this one was digital only? Unless they're going to start running, you know, running sales and run, doing their pricing like Steam, I I don't want it just because of that, you know, that pricing issue. Yeah, I, I don't. I also wouldn't like the fact there'd be one marketplace that you'd be able to buy games. Yeah. Here is the best way they can roll that out is next year the price of their games go up to seventy bucks. Like they may should they should have been anyway. And then we're gonna do all digital and it's gonna be sixty bucks again on all digital. I think that's a way to sell it without losing anything really. Sure. But to kinda of like circle back I think the only way that is even possible is if they had one partner that sold their consoles. Like Amazon is the only place where you can order it and get it the same day. Or like you can go to Best Buy is the, like the exclusive. Please do not pick Amazon. No, no. yeah, please. Because no, no, you will not get it that day. Yeah. Let's say Best Buy. Best Buy is the official you know, partner that will sell their consoles. So they don't have any games anymore, but you can still buy the digital currency. You can still buy the digital games from them if you want to use it. Like, because you can still, like, now you can go and I can go buy digital Madden from the best. Right. Oh, yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. And go home and download yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so they can still do it that way. So you still have to, to worry about, like, the internet, like, speed and, and things like that. But I think if Best Buy was the only place that actually sold the console, I think that's the only way they could sell it to some retailer. So, like, yes. We're not undercutting any sales from those other like Target and Walmart. Like they're missing out on that, but also not losing anything by holding up the, the shelf space and retail space for these games and consoles and things like that. I think it's not five bucks. <laughs> I think man, we're gonna have new mics in no time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually not bad. But we should actually make that a show rule. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man! <laughs> Twenty bucks. Sorry. Fifteen from you. Five from Mike. I have a five on me actually. <laughs> um, so like I think that's that's the only way like. In terms of, like, I think there's only viable way I think that would actually go down. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if they would ever not have. To t- <laughs> We're here. Shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they would ever go full digital. I just, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, until internet infrastructure gets upgraded, not only in rural areas in the U.S. but around the world. Yeah. Like, I, it, I know there's like you know in Africa and like some places in the Middle East, like they don't have great infrastructure. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how much, you know, there's a lot of impoverished rural areas in Africa, so I'm not sure how much, how much video games are selling there anyways, but Australia is a place that granted they have like three major cities and a bunch of nothing. Right. But those three major cities, I think there's a decent amount of people playing video games who I think you wouldn't be able to reach. Of course, Australia has its own problems what with video games. Yeah. What I don't understand is like. The, that argument in terms of like there's not enough infrastructure to allow for only download only. However, if I buy a game now, I have nine gigabytes of downloads yep. for first day patches and things like that, which yeah. is almost as full size of a but game. But nine as opposed to sixty. Yeah, I mean, or you're, 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 you're talking Xbox you're talking three hands days hands. of downloading as opposed to a month. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're Assassin's Creed Unity, you have an eighty gig patch to download to Ooh. fix the whole entire game. That's not like just, that was brutal. To the game and just like. Put the whole thing around top of it. Like, this is the one we meant to release. So I remember I got Unity for like five bucks. And I was like, all right, let me try this. And then like first day I was like, oh, no, I'm not playing this for like a week. 80 gigs? Shit. <laughs> That's my data cap for the month right there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, I, I don't I don't know if it would ever, we would have a digital only world. Because I think people just have a nostalgia for the disc. Like, yeah. like we talk about us. Like, you know, we are, we are still in the prime um, the prime age bracket for games. Like, we are, if the average age of, the average age of gamer goes up every single year because mm-hmm. we keep getting older. Right. Mm-hmm. And we keep buying games. And, we're and not to mention, we're hitting the age where we have disposable income. Exactly. Right. So, I, I don't know if that would ever <sighs> completely go Been at the age for a while where we had disposable income. <laughs> we spend a lot more of it at bars than we do now. <laughs> yeah. The $200 bar tab. What the hell has happened? <laughs> you came home at four in the morning. That's what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Good night, though. <laughs> <laughs> that I can remember. They mostly were. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Any final thoughts on digital versus physical? The I, I think the laziness aspect of the whole thing is very underrated. Agree. I would well, absolutely, I agree I would absolutely give up a few actually. bucks, just hit a button, stop a game. Uh, a button, I, I, I game. actually do kind of agree with that. Uh, like, <laughs> I, 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 I wish they'd make a fucking disc changer peripheral for my PlayStation. That I would, would use the shit out of that thing. That'd be nice. Yeah, That's let me put weird. like a six six game yeah. changer. 
There, I said, old school. My, Put like my, the old school, like load your, yeah. your, 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 your cartridge, pop yeah. it in there. <laughs> Press a button, uh, just three. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my Switch is next to my bed usually when it's not docked, but like the games are next to the dock, which is downstairs. And the person's like, oh, I'm just not, I'm just playing Mario. Not right playing now. those games. I'm not, right. going, I'm not get, I'm not going to go, you know, I guess well, like, Skyrim again. Let's go play some more Skyrim. Your thing is like you're saying like you're in bed and that's what you're doing. I'm assuming you're doing before you go to sleep. Yeah. I'm in my basement. I'm wide fucking awake. My TV <laughs> is seven <laughs> feet from me. I do not want to like take the two steps and bend over at the button and put another disc in. That's how it's a level of lazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 but I, I mean that convenience factor, it's huge. I mean, I, I sit there, I have how many internet connected devices in my house? Yep. You know, I have a computer that I could, you know, launch a spaceship from. And I sit there and I spend most of my internet time on the fucking phone. You know why? Because it's in my pocket. Yeah. That's a good point. Anything else for this? No. I, I do think it would have been really <laughs> interesting to have the two consoles be very different and have Xbox go with its original idea just to see how things would have played out. And I think, I actually, I think you would be a lot more impressed than what different. they were originally thinking. Because like that... Because like if you think about it, like if you look at the way crack, Crackdown Three is going right now, Crackdown Three is going. Well, maybe we'll In see. In theory, we'll see. Uh, but but the original but the original Crackdown that they showed off and everything, the only way that would have worked was the online all the time. Yeah. Because it was going to be the cloud, cloud environment. Yeah. Like that's where the destruction and all that kind of stuff was going to happen. And like so, their original idea for Crackdown was amazing, and now look what we're going to get because they can't do it. Because of what they, because I mean, technically they they could well, they do could, it. They could do it. I mean, but, look at look at Sea of Thieves. You can't play that without an yeah. online connection. I can't play a fucking single player game of MLB The Show without getting messages popping up saying my internet connection dropped. Huh. And God forbid I finish That's that annoying. game while it's dropped, it won't save. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck. This that. is in the Diamond Dynasty, not in like franchise mode oh, or something. Still though, that fuck that. That's yeah. annoying. If I'm disconnected from the internet, you know what? Save it. Upload it when it reconnects. Yeah, exactly. And we'll continue later. Like I was in the middle of like a game last night that went like. Seven innings longer than it should have. Should have yeah. had a three inning game. I'm, I'm like tenth. And my pitchers are all tired. And it's like you've disconnected. You have disconnected. Oh. You've disconnected. I'm like motherfucker. If I lose this game, I'm gonna throw something. <laughs> <laughs> I finished the game and it saved, but still, like I'm like pausing the game and going through the menus, like test the internet settings. I'm connected. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Check. I'm going on my computer. I'm like, what's what's the PlayStation and the network status? Everything's green and online. What's the problem? Ugh. Um. So I mean, there are still PSN games. for you. There are still games that are doing. You have to be online connected. Yeah. So Crackdown Three technically could do that. Well, if I they think wanted to, but I think what the problem was is they 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 decided they changed their direction because of the backlash before, and that it was too that late. Was, that was to six kind years of go ago. Back. Oh no, I agree, and that's why they canceled it, and then they re, and then it disappeared for three for three years, and then it came and back. It came back and disappeared for another year. And now it's disappearing for another year. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Either. I don't know. I just have that feeling. But I agree. It would be nice to see. I would like to see Microsoft's original direction. Yeah. And I would like to see what the response nowadays would be to that. And I think it actually would not be as negative as it was seven years ago it's or five those, years it's, ago. It can be one of those things where, you know, we talk about, I mean, how would you feel about day one downloads 10 years ago? How do, oh, you, yeah. how, do you, how do you feel about not buying a complete game 10 years ago? It becomes a norm. It becomes what we're used to. Yeah. And eventually, if it comes down to the only digital digital option then that's our option and we will keep playing games and buying games and yep. living with it and we'll have this conversation 10 years from now when we talk about something new that we hate and be like remember 10 years ago when we talked about digital distribution how much we hated it and now we're all okay with it, it it's we adapt with this type of stuff. Like, the market chip. adapts we put into our breads that's why, I'll, that's, that's, why <laughs> that's why I'm tapping out on games <laughs> I'm not embedding technology into my body <laughs> <laughs> fucking Neo yeah <laughs> All right. So I will crack out my old Nintendo, find my cartridges, and <laughs> find a tube TV somewhere. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We're, yeah, we're like we're we're thinking about throwing away the, like I think our the last tube TV in Alsa, Illinois, <laughs> and like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about like man, it's like some some retro gamer would probably actually pay some decent money for. They probably would actually. Yeah, it's fine. When uh my grandmother moved to my parents' house, like there was two bedrooms in their basement. Like one was my bedroom, one was like a room that just turned into storage. And uh, they basically just got, like, sealed up like a friggin' mausoleum when I left. <laughs> and, uh, like, they were cleaning it out for my grandma to move in. And uh, my mom's like, we got your old TV. Do you want that? And I go and look. And it's like a, it wasn't my old TV. It was their old TV. It was like a 32-inch tube TV. I'm like, no. <laughs> nobody fucking wants it. <laughs> we, tr we try to get rid of another one, and they wanted to charge us 50 oh, yeah. bucks to take yeah, it. Yeah. I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. 
You motherfucker. I used to throw these things oh, it's ridiculous. The, I used to throw these into the trash compactor at Circuit City. Uh, that's when you load up in your car, drive out to our old apartment complex, throw it in their fucking dumpster. <laughs> yeah. I never said that, though. No, that's fine. That's <laughs> We paid enough to them. Yeah. Take a fucking TV off our hands. I should, be able to, I should be able to throw it in the pool if I wanted to. When their fucking storage area is flooded, I lost shit, so fuck them. I lost a set of golf clubs. That was the best thing ever happened to me. <laughs> I still have a set of golf clubs. <laughs> I haven't touched them in at least six years. Exactly. See what I mean? Other you, than moving them from place to yeah, place. Yeah, but you've been hauling that shit around. Mine was like waterlogged. You're like, ah, it's the. Mine are still at my parents' yeah, house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is now my gift to you, which was my gift to you. So my gift to you is a po- uh, section of the show where one of us gives someone else a game they never played before, try something new, um, and come back with a review for it. So I gave you Near Automata. What did you think? So first of all, I did not play nearly as much as I wanted to of this. Okay. So uh, that one night I was texting you, that was the only night I got a chance to play. Okay, so you're playing like that reservoir, what was that game you talked about? I could uh, yeah, play. yeah. Ten, ten hours of that instead. Yeah. Well, I, it's easier when I have... I didn't have the TV. Let's put it that. Oh, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> um, so that it's that's something. Yeah, Vita's easier on that. But um, so but the little bit, I, but the, the bit I did play of it. So I could probably put about two and a half, maybe three hours in. Did you get past the first boss? The big structural thing. Yes. Looks like a giant like crane monster guy. Crane. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Okay. Oh yeah! Yeah! Okay. Yeah! You know, I did get I get further than that. Right. Yeah! Yeah! I had a yeah. brain in its lower abdomen. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, so this game, so in the first ten minutes, starts off as a, as a, as a schmuck. Mm-hmm. Then it goes into a third person action game, mm-hmm. and then it goes into a two point five side scroller, mm-hmm. and it goes back to a third person action game, mm-hmm. and then back to a schmuck. Mm-hmm. And which is it, awesome. Different versions of shmups. There's versions of shmups. Yes. Have like, so you have the side. So you have the side one like this, and then you got the circle one. Yeah. Like it's crazy. It's insane. So the nice thing about so like it sounds like a fucking mess. It sounds like a mess. But the cool thing is, is you don't. Every time you start doing something for a little bit too long, boom, it switches to the other one. Like it gets to a different. It switches to like okay, now you're gonna do a side scrolling for a little bit. Like, so it never, it makes sure you don't get bored of what you're doing. It's constantly switching around. Um, this game was fucking hard. Yeah. I was playing it on normal and it was hard. <laughs> um, like, I used up almost just about every single one of my health packs, the first level. Like, you know, because in the first area, they automatically, you, they, it, it heals you for you. Um, so it was just using. <laughs> it was just using. I'm like, I keep seeing it pop up on the screen. Um, and that's when I texted you. I was like, hey, yeah. can I get health packs again? Or am I fucked for the rest of the game? You're fine. Oh, no, I was fine. You're yeah, because then, then after that first area, you get back into your main base mm-hmm. and there's a shop and you can buy a ton of, you get a ton of um, gold to, or whatever they call it, the currency to use. Yeah, they're not, they're not very stingy on stuff. No, it? no. And like, and it's dirt cheap to buy health packs. Like, so like, they were like, they were like, yeah, we know this is difficult. Go ahead, spend your money yeah. kind of thing. Um, so, so yeah, so that whole first area, like it was just intense. It was crazy. So I was having, like I said, at first I was having difficulties just getting used to, um, the dodging mechanics. Like I felt like I was dodging, like doing like the whole, okay, dodge at the last minute and then go in for the slow-mo attack and everything yeah. like that. Like, um, which is great because I'm, I'm used to that for a bunch of other action RPGs. Um, but, but like, I was just like, I was struggling with the timing. Like I was having a hard time getting my timing down on it. Um, then eventually I was starting to get that down a little bit. It's like, okay, we're getting there. Then yeah, that first giant boss, he's got two giant crane hands. Just bra bra, yeah. <laughs> then like sl- trying to saw you in half yeah. and everything. It was insane. It was crazy, and like there's like a tiny little space you can go in, t- in without getting hit. Mm. Thankfully, I finally found that space, so I stopped <laughs> losing health packs. Um, so that was crazy. And then, so then after that, you go into so you go into this main base where you start learning a little bit more story. It's like okay, well now we're gonna bring you down to Earth mm-hmm. and. It's in the future. We're going to bring you down to Earth and all this other stuff. It's like, okay. So you get down to Earth, and that's when it kind of opens mm-hmm. a bit. So it's a little bit more... So kind of think... <sighs> Grand Theft Auto, I guess? If you want to... I'm trying to think of it. I don't want to say that, but I want, there's a different game I'm trying to think of, and I can't think of the name of it. Basically, it's an open world, but there, you know... You know... Yeah, actually, kind of you accuse it too. Yeah, yeah. I but was, like... Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Basically, it's an open world. Like, there's different things you can do, different enemies and stuff like that. But there's where you got to go. Yeah. There's where you got to go. But 
feel free to roam. Feel free to roam around, look at different things and stuff like that. Um, and then eventually after you go, so after you initially go to this camp and you talk and stuff like that, then it actually opens up some side quests in the area and stuff, which is really cool. So there's side quests you do and you go, go and take care of some of that stuff and everything. And, um, I got into the desert. I got, I got okay. through the desert scene. Oh, good. You got, you got so yeah. 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 So I got through the desert scene. Um, and that was fucked up. That whole part at the end was fucked up. It was so, so your character's, your character's a big bitch. Yeah, she's a bitch. Like she's <laughs> too, mean. Too bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, she is mean. <laughs> and so, and then the person you're working with is the nicest guy ever. Like being like super nice and everything, and she's just being a bitch the whole time. Yeah. Like it doesn't care. Like she's an android. She's no. Fun. No, exactly. Although they start, I don't know. It's yeah. weird. She yeah. starts getting feelings. It's weird. <laughs> um, but uh, so. So Melissa was working on some uh, working on something while I was playing, and and she was she was getting annoyed by how mean this girl was and stuff like that. And then I got to the point where like in the desert area, like so there's these little, like they look like mechanical weird things, and like they're starting to kind of talk. Like they're not just like beep, 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 whatever. Yeah. Like no, they're more like like ow 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 and like stuff like that. And I'm just like. You know, you know me playing as a gamer. I don't think of nothing of it. Fuck yeah. it. Right, shut up. I'm slicing and dicing you. I don't care. Uh, and she's like, like that's me. Like this sounds like 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 humans. Yeah. Like you know, like they're real people and stuff like that. And then you get like to the boss area, and you're just like, well, fuck. Now I feel like shit. Yeah. Like I kind of feel like shit without totally giving it away. Yeah. But you, I, you can kind of guess what it is, but I don't want to. I don't want to for completely say it. Um, but it's like, damn. Now I kind of feel like shit for what I've been doing. Um, and then, so that that's so that's pretty much where I got is okay. up this through that part. I got back, and then after the desert, I made my way out of the desert and back into the main city. That's, so that's, that's a decent kind of where game. I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, very cool. The game looks gorgeous. Mm-hmm. The game looks absolutely gorgeous. Plays great. Plays absolutely great. There, I I really didn't notice. And like there was times where like a lot of shit's going on. I didn't notice any slowdown or anything like that. The soundtrack is yes. fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. The music is so good. Oh, it's so good. Um, but this is something I, I I I need to find time and finish this. Like I really want to finish this because it's it's very interesting. It's um like I said, it's you don't get sick of it because you're constantly it's constantly switching between and while you're playing through all these levels, it's constantly switching with all this stuff. Um and then like the boss fights too just feel epic. Like they feel like a big deal. And there's a, there's a lot like I said, there's a lot going on, there's a lot to do, there's a lot of variations. And on top of that, you get like some different weapons and the way you, and the way you play with the weapons are different, they're like heavy and light. The your little robot guy, I forget what his name was. Oh, um, whatever it was. Yeah, I can't. Think he of has that. a lot of different abilities. Yep. Like he has like a big laser. He has one of the. He yep. has like homing missiles. He has like the gun. So I mean, there's a lot of different things he can do too. So you can not only is there a lot to do, but there's a lot of variation in those a lot of things to do. So like, yeah, even adds even more variety to it. Like I said I finished the first playthrough. The second playthrough, you're playing as a super nice kid. Okay. So that's that's where I, I got about halfway through that. Okay. But I guess like the story gets kind of crazy when you get to the third time through. Okay. So. If you want to nice. pull out through for a while, feel free. Because okay. I got plenty of other stuff on my plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to be swamped too. I know. <laughs> but I, I, but no, I, I, that is a game I definitely want to dive back in. And the guy's got like three to... days to knock out Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, tell me about it. Yeah, no one's going to see me all next week. Well, that and the hockey playoffs are going on. Like, yeah. I just don't know when I'm going to have time. Um, but uh, but no, this game was real. This game's awesome. This game is really awesome. Like even without finishing it, like I can tell. Like I am really looking forward to seeing where it goes and what's go- what's going to happen. Uh, especially after what happened in the desert, I'm just like, okay, like, yeah, are people going to start turning on me or what's going to happen? There are two really cool um, hub. I can, like I don't want to say hub cities, but like two of the next like two of the big locations you go to in a little bit from where you're at are two. Expound, I uh, expand upon that even okay. more so. Okay. And, like you get even more of a humanistic vibe from those machines once you once you get past these next two. Okay. These next two sections. Okay. I don't want to spoil too much. For yeah, you, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. But there's like a colony of them. Okay. And then there is a, um, again, these are just robots, right? Like they right. Just, they do what they're told. Yeah. And so these guys, they had a like a, a carnival or a festival, like a, like an amusement park. And just like the you know, animatronics, like say if all the people died, but they didn't turn off the power in Disney World, like all the animatronics would still be going, and all that stuff would still be happening. So you go into think of it like in that think of the automata setting, but you go into 
like a carnival type world and how okay. messed up that could possibly be. Hmm. That's it's that's one that still sticks with me in terms awesome. of like I'm still think I still think about God, that one. Yeah, I, I really gotta dive back into that. It's good. It's really really good. Yeah, really it sounds so good. I yeah, feel no, I've gotten one you've liked in a while. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. I, I mean, this has been not for like a try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is yeah. This is this was this is a really cool. Like I said, this was always on my radar from last year. And I just never got around yeah. to picking it up. Um, so I'm really glad I'm finally playing it. And it's very, I mean, it's it it's not super, but it's it's got that Japanese sense to it too. So it's like it's that's my. I mean, it's You're it's right. definitely my You're thing. Right wheelhouse. Yeah. Um. But um. But yeah. I um. I, I I definitely recommend it. Like if you've not played it yet. Definitely grab it if you can. Um, it has not been that cheap, which surprisingly, no. I've never seen it lower than. There's another game I've never seen it lower than thirty bucks. Um, even digital, I've never mm-hmm. seen it lower than thirty bucks. Um, but if you do, see, but it has been on sale more often lately. So if you do see it, be sure to grab it. I think I, I think it'll be totally be worth your time. And like you're saying, with multiple playthroughs and stuff. And if you're saying I got through a good chunk of the game already, like that's pretty that's pretty good. Like they, like that, and that's what I like games. If they want you to play it multiple times. Don't make it super fucking yeah. long then. Like make it like six hours, think, five to six hours. About, like I think six, seven ish hours. That sounds that's perfect. Those. Like for each playthrough, that's yeah. that's how it should be. Very good. All right, nice. It's your turn because I think this is the last one. Then we reset. I think right? yeah, so I think you so. Pass to art. Yes. What do you got for that man over there? Hi. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> Talk to me in about uh, forty five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's, it's what we've always been. Ta- it was we've been talking about forever. Yakuza Kiwami. Oh, okay. Kiwami. Kiwami. So this is the. So this was the remaster of the very first Yakuza that was on PS2 back then. Um, All right. Yeah. So I mean, just trying to spread. Don't touch. <laughs> trying to spread the Yakuza love. It's cold. Uh, it especially is. with uh, especially with six coming out and everything, and um, yeah, and with Kiwami two announced for August. God damn it. That's August 28th. Oh August 28th is Kiwami 2. Dragon Quest 11 is September 4th. And yeah. Spider-Man is September so you 7th. Get, you got a week to knock that game out. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then three days to knock out Dragon Quest and uh, oh. Spider-Man. And then, then Smash Bros. is going to come out on September 15th. I'm so, so screwed. Yeah, so you got a week to knock out uh, Spider-Man. And... <laughs> God damn it. Well, it's a good thing you have a kid and you're not going to be doing shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> Tell you when they're born, all they do is sleep, eat, and shit. Yeah, that sounds great. Sounds yeah, like I'll take care. I'll take advantage of that. Sounds like my dream life. Like <laughs> yeah, it does. But uh, but no, I'm really curious to see what you think because I know you're a big GTA person. I am. So <laughs> so and this is like because like everyone always says like everyone says yeah it's GP, GTA but it's not like so I kind of want to I I definitely want to get your vibe on that right. and everything so oh good this will give me something to do while Andy's not online playing Far Cry I was just gonna say so take away from baseball Fucking. perfect single player <laughs> game right here and okay. try to play some of the mini stuff the mini game stuff okay. too if you get, if you come across them I've nice. heard there's karaoke in this oh there's karaoke as Mike knows I'm a huge karaoke you need a karaoke, loves karaoke and you also need to do the um uh the um, what are they called cabaret uh ooh cabaret you, you can talk, talk, talk to women ooh yeah, you gotta make sure I'm you do. Also, great at that. Because then, if you once you because if you get at a high enough level, then you get to go out on dates with them. Ooh. And that's when it gets fun. I want you to get sexy on. time. <laughs> sexy time. I'll see if I can do what Mike couldn't do in frisky business. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I, I, get, I steal the deal multiple times in frisky yeah, business. I'm trying to have a threesome, okay? I did have a threesome. So you, so you didn't? Yeah, I did. No, it was Playboy the Mansion game. I didn't have a threesome. The what? The Playboy Mansion game. That was a long time oh, ago. Oh, I, I remember that. Story? I don't. I remember that game. Playboy the Mansion essentially is The Sims. Yeah. But Playboy. Yep. And I I had like a pirated version of the game. I was playing in my dorm room. With the new era. code? So you actually saw oh, yeah, boobs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think you needed, needed to do that. I think that was boobs were just on oh, there. Oh, they were originally. just on there, weren't they? Yeah, that's right. And within the first five minutes of me playing the game, I was trying to swing a threesome. And it never <laughs> happened. It was never in the... the you, you actually <laughs> couldn't do it in the game. Who do you think you are, Huff? I think, <laughs> I, think I was actually. I think that's how the game played, if memory serves. I know you, sir. You're no half. No one is. Rest in peace. Pull That's right. <laughs> Art. Yep. Where can people find us online? People can find us on Facebook, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play. By searching these six podcasts, you can find us on Twitter at Six Podcast. Find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash these six podcast. Or you can find all of our stuff on our website at www.sticksgaming.com. Very nice. Woo! Steak, final words. All right. I hear you. Oh, boy. Hey, before you get started, one thing. Ping pong. 
but no boxing. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep oh, yeah. it. I think I do that every week. Well, well, find well, one, yeah, one random per week. ass game that comes That's out. what we need remastered. Rockstar Table Tennis. Oh, that was awesome. That game was hard as shit. That game, that game, was, shit. That game was awesome I got, like, I got for 360. I got the game free from, with my 360, and it was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I played that for like a day. and Because I bought Bioshock, Crackdown, Gears, and and I got table, and table Tennis. So yeah. I played like a game of Table Tennis. So was, <laughs> that game was hard. That game was cool. I liked it. But no boxing. Fair enough. All right, so GameSpot. Oh, <laughs> fuck GameSpot! All right, I am sick of their bullshit re- video reviews. This is crap. This is seriously though. This is bullshit. What was the other game that they showed like the main, like, the last boss for? That was IGN actually. Oh, that one was I, which was a very shocker because it was actually a guy I like from IGN too. So I was very surprised. That was uh, Ryan McCaffrey. Oh yeah, I really like him. That was for Super Lucky's Tale. That was, oh, I was yeah, super pissed true. about yeah, that too. Right, right, right. But Pokemon Sun and Moon. There was a huge twist, like in in the middle of it, and they fucking showed it in their in in their video review. And they're, as they're saying, "Oh yeah," and then there's a and then there's that twist that happens that you see coming a mile away, and then they show it. It's like, well, what the fuck though? Like, the game's not even out yet. Like, we're yeah. not even playing it yet. Again, got a word. Like, okay, I'm the minute I saw the review up on YouTube, I was like, I'm not watching this. I have this gut feeling I'm not gonna watch it. And then I saw you post, I was like. I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm not surprised. Why, why? Why the fuck do we have to talk about this? Why do we have to show you? Oh, Nino Kuni too. They yes, show, yes. They showed so many. That was I, the one, yeah. So they showed so many of the bosses. Like every video footage they almost showed in the entire review was of the fucking bosses from Nino Kuni too. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, that's a big deal. That's a huge deal. Like, there was one boss that I did get to, and I'm like, oh, I already know. I already saw this guy. I, I saw it in the review. I, I already know how to beat this guy. I'm like, this sucks because that actually would have been pretty fucking awesome yeah. if I didn't already know that this guy. Ex- the minute I saw him in the distance, I was like, I know it's coming. Like that fucking ruined that moment for me. Yeah. Like I just don't understand why. Why do we have to give spoilers away? Why do we have to talk about shit in reviews? No, the reviews are simple. You are you're talking about the graphics, the gameplay. And just what you think of the story. You don't have to mention anything about the story. God of War, for instance. Like, you don't have to mention that, it, oh, the relationship between Kratos and his son. You don't even have to say that. Just be like, the story is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, the story is emotional. It's enticing. Yeah. Just all you have to say. You, don't you, say, to... you see a different side of Kratos in this game. Right. That's all you got to say. You don't have to go into any specific details. Like, I don't understand why these critics think they have to do this now. I don't get it. In, in a day and age where, like, everyone... Th- you can't, like, show, you know, the menu screen of Spider-Man. People are like, oh, that's a spoiler. I don't see the menu screen. Oh, so, like, I, I, people go that's a bit excessive. Smallest, well, yeah, yeah. But I'm, what I'm saying, like, people go right. not over the smallest details, and they're showing final moments of the game right. yeah. in their video review for right. a game that comes out in a week and a half? Yeah, that's just ridiculous. That's a 25 to 50 hour game from what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah depending on, yeah, exactly, yeah. They, they said you can beat it in about 20 you, to 25 yeah, if you're if you main, If you mainline the story, yeah. it's about 25 hours. Yeah. If you start, if you dig into all the side stuff, it's like 50-ish. Yep. It's just, um, it's... I don't get it. I just don't understand what the appeal from them is of like doing that. Like, and like how as you're doing it, you don't feel like this is wrong. Like, how do you not the only, have that feeling? The only way I can see this happen is I know, like, I write the review, you edit the video, you read the text. So, like, I, that could be one of the things, like, where one hand isn't look at, is, isn't, you know, understanding what the other hand is doing. Like, I captured all the footage when I played it, but you're the video editor. Man, that, that thing looks really cool. I'm going to put that in the video. It ends up being the last boss. That's the only, only way I can see this happening outside of someone just being, like, in the... I don't want to say ignorant, but like tone deaf to but, how important that kind but of thing But even is. if that is the case, like there's got to be some type of a review process though of that. Or right. or or the person that is at the video editor, common fucking sense like of what, where you are in the right. in, in the game. If, like, if, you're, if, you're, if you're, you probably don't want to show anything past hour number 10. Anything before that? A game that long, yes. I'll agree. Saying, anything, yeah. I, I'll say, well, still don't show any bosses. If you want to show environments... Fine, but I still would not show. The only boss that I did see in a couple of reviews was the one boss they did show off, like at E3 or oh, something. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's fine because yeah, that means that's, that's already been game. shown. It's been shown. It's been shown by the by, developers. Exactly, that's free game. That's fine. Like that's totally fine. But anything, any other bosses besides that one boss that they did show off is just on. No, just don't do it. I, I don't know what the motivation is for that. I don't know who the audience is that wants to see that. 
if what's I'm, a, what's if the point I'm of playing the if game? If I'm interested in this game, I don't want to see that shit. You know, give me you know some broad shots of the scenery. Give me a couple action sequences. Give me like you said, the, the big fight they showed off at E3 that we've already seen. You right, know, as long fine. as it's still in the game. Right. Um. I yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like I, I think the best explanation, like you said, is just like. One hand not knowing what the other hand's doing. That's the only way that makes and any I, sense and, in this day and age. In that sense, I mean, I think that I feel like they should have like some kind of quality control before it goes to publication. Yes. Why isn't a person that's pl- that was my next point? Like, if if again, if I've captured the video, I play the game as my review. You're the video editor. I want to make sure I see your video before it gets put out there with my name on it. Right. Right. So like, I don't know. I know I haven't like GameSpot since the Keenan Lynch fiasco from years ago. So. <laughs> Well, yeah, so uh, no, no, no I, I hear, you. but like that thing, like, and I, I mean, just—it's one of those things. I, I, I've never really liked them, but they are the second biggest video yeah. game. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, there, so. absolutely. Like, I, I honestly, now what I do, what I, what I'll do is I'll click on their reviews videos, but then I'll hit pause right away and just go to the comments and wait, look for that person that put how what score they gave them. They gave it. I'm just curious on the score. <laughs> and it's what exactly, it's exactly what I did with God of War. I just pause. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. And like, I mean, it's just like I said, and then, but yeah. After Pokemon, I stopped watching anything from them, and then that Nino Kuni too. You know, I was because I was in, in the up in the air about it, so yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, let me watch a couple of reviews on that, not thinking. And then as I'm halfway through the GameSpot review, oh, let me close out of this, and then I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me! That's, that's I just don't know. I don't get it. I don't like being spoiled. You know, it's just it goes. You know, it goes with movies like the new Avengers movie coming out. If someone were, to, if if someone that I knew knew exactly everything, everything that happens in that movie. If they wanted to sit down with me, I would punch them in the face. <laughs> like if they were trying to tell me, like no, like so that let me tell you what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean that would. Well, like, there's, there's a fight. <laughs> <laughs> there's some more fights. There's some jokes. There's a big fight. <laughs> but like you said, like and that's the end. Like what, what? What's the what's the audience that wants that? Yeah, I don't, I, because that just you're. There's no point in spending money. There's no point in watching the movie. There's no point in playing the game no if that the happens. Time. There's yeah. no reason to do it. And that's that. like there's a. I'm sure there's other outlets to do, but I know kind of funny does it. Like they'll do, they do spoiler free, free like yeah. reviews ahead of time, and then they do a spoiler cast after the fact, yep. which is fun. That's great. That's fine. Like, and, or if they're getting something spoilery, they tell you they're like, "We're going in the spoilers. Shut it off." Y- yep, exactly. You know, and that's you know this GameSpot stuff. They just put it out there. It's just, it's just, it's just part of the video. Yep. And it's, I, like I said, I don't get the only people who would want that are the people who aren't going to buy the game. Like, right. right. So, and and you can cover those people in a spoiler cast or a. You know, post-launch review. Yep. Oh, Game Informer does this really cool article in their um, in their magazine. They, they call it postmortem, and then they go in there and they ask people interviews. Like they ask, they do interviews and ask questions from the developers months after games have been released, and they talk about everything. Like that would be a cool way to do it. And then like, we'll, we'll do a postmortem on God of War two months from now. Yeah. So like, it gives some time people some, gives some people some time to play. Everything's been on the internet already at that point. Like two months from now. If you have still been avoiding spoilers for a year plus, and then those extra two months will right. work for you, but I mean that would have been a good time to do it. Honestly, like the, I don't like watching video reviews. I'll yeah, watch. No, I, I, I would rather read a review exactly because I don't think I've ever really read a significant spoiler in a text review. E- even on on the Gamespot one, they you know you go to the page and when I when I check this out, like I saw some people reporting it, and I went to go check it out because I'm like. I knew you two are both hyped about God of War. I'm, I've never really dug into a God yeah. of War, so I'm like, before I put this on Facebook, I want to check this out and make sure you know I'm, I'm not just taking you know a couple of shows off the internet. Right, yeah, yeah. And it's one of those things like I, I initially read through the text where I'm like, I don't see anything too bad there, and then they showed the video and you know, so I, I didn't know the exact point that was like the final, but you know, one of the bosses, but someone put it in the comment like, oh, at blah blah blah, they spoil. I'm like, oh well. Okay, I, I, in watching it, but I have no, I have no background in the God of War series, sure. so I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, like in the text review, I, like I was reading through it, and there was nothing spoilery there, so that's why I, I that's the only reason I played the video was because mm-hmm. I'm like, people just you know talking out of their ass here or what. Mm-hmm. But the right. other thing with this one too is like, from you know, listening to some podcasts, like Sony uh, gave out like their review codes to people, and like they had PR people like kind of coaching these people who they were giving the review codes to, to, which were all, like, industry veterans who have done this a million right. times. And they're like, you know, this game's, like, really special. It's a really big deal. You know, please, you, you know, you're not allowed to stream it. Please don't um, leak any story, you know, plot details or anything like that. And at some point, 
even though I know GameSpot's the second biggest games me- you know, media company out there, Sony needs to look at this and be like, you guys, yeah, we gave this to you and you blew it, so you guys don't get to cover our next game. Mm. Yep. We'll see how you guys do in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of those things, like, I, do they care? I, it, seems, it sounds like they care if they were going through the trouble of having PR staff available to these outlets to coach right. them on yeah. what they were and what they did and didn't want them to say or right. show or do. Um, so at some point, I think it, it just falls back to the publishers to be like, no, you, you, you gave you a chance and you guys, you know, abused our trust and no. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a tangled web. So join us next time when we spoil God of War for y'all. Cause we're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, we're talking God of War next time. Uh, <laughs> also, I think before next time, maybe you guys could go and do a review. Hmm. That's a good thought. All right, we'll see you next time, stickheads.